nightmares. Jessica, she's... Re the once beautiful Jessica Watts is a hollow shell of her former self. Her skin is pale, her lips are ashen, and her eyes are sunken in her skull. It's more than her body's reaction to the physical damage she sustained, or the strain of channeling magical power from another plane of existence. There's something missing from her now. It's gone. My link to the... the Queen. She has abandoned me. Expelled me. Unworthy. Unworthy. It had to be done. The nest would have overrun the city if we hadn't stopped you. Whatever your pain you're feeling is far less than what you deserve. <laughs> or there's still hope for you, Jessica. Let's just go with it had to be done. She shakes her head weakly. Her body slumped as if it might fold itself into the ground. You... you don't understand. There are nests everywhere, in every major city. It's only a matter of time. Tears run down her face. Oh God, what have I done? And Sam... I'm so sorry, Sam. New objective, decide the fate of Sam Watts' killer. Oh. Jessica looks at you, pleading. Please, Flandry, Flandry, don't let them. Don't let them eat me! Okay, now here's our choices here. I promise justice for Sam. This feels like justice. Do nothing but watch. Oh, they'll eat you, but Sam is going to get justice first. Kill her before the bugs do. Or, death would be too quick a punishment. You're going to pay for what you've done. Take her with you. Hmm. Last time I let, I, I let the bugs eat her alive. How did that go? I kind of want to... I kind of want to see what happens if we take her prisoner. Yeah. Let's try it. Death would be... Going... I understand. She lowers her head in shame. I understand. Karma gained. Fine. Objective complete. I, I wonder, like, what the sentence is for trying to summon, you know, insect Cthulhu. Out, out of the shadows. You emerge from the Universal Brotherhood Chapter House, momentarily blinded by the bright lights of the Lone Star Perimeter surrounding the exit. So wait, did you just, like, look at the bugs and be like, hey, we got this? And they're like, okay. Well, we just, we just, we just killed the whole hot, the rest of the hive. Yes. I, I assume they just didn't animate us rushing in there and grabbing her, I mean. <clears throat> Although that would be kind of funny if, the if you just sort of glared at the bugs and they backed <laughs> off. I mean, we did, we did, you know, cast their queen back into the outer darkness or whatever, so. All right. Despite <clears throat> despite the clean night air, the stench of ichor and decay stings to you, a smell that may never fully go away. You drop your Aegis-filled shotgun, and it's quickly spirited away by one of Telestrian's minions. Weapons are slowly lowered out as you step out into the street, the order coming from de 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 Detective McCluskey himself. You can see James Telestrian just nearby, pulling his strings. It's over. Jessica Watts has been dealt with, and Sam has his justice. The dead man's deed is done. All you need now is to make a phone call, and it ends. New objective speaks to James Telestrian III. Harlequin. And after we broke up the ritual, Flandry chased Jessica into a small chamber where she was cornered by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't impressed with her performance. They were about to eat her. And? And Flandry... Sendry... <laughs> and Flandry says something like, I won't let them eat you, Jessica. You're coming with me. You're going to pay for what you've done. It was very dramatic. <laughs> Then, we splattered the bu Okay, see, here, now this is explaining what they didn't show. Then, we splattered the bugs and handed her over to the UCAS FBI. They're going to want to have a long talk with her about the Universal Brotherhood. So, this nest is cleaned out, and your cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. James assesses you with a newfound respect. Very clean. I believe our test of Project Aegis was a success, Flandry. Herr Brackhouse is having it weaponized now for distribution to knight-errant forces. They're like this, uh... 
like law enforcement mercenary paramilitary type corporation out in uh, Europe. Ah. The authorities are going to have a great many questions about this incident, and I will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses, and they must be dealt with immediately. What will happen next? That is for others to determine. People other than you. Still, you have turned a yeoman's effort, and, regardless of your obvious flaws, you are deserving of a reward. What would you ask of me? There is... I hear you have an opening for a new VP of security. I want to get paid, or... <laughs> not much, just McCluskey's badge. <laughs> and you know what? Fuck McCluskey. Telestrian's ice breaks for a moment. You short-circuit an invasion of extra-dimensional insects, and for your reward, you wish to have an insignificant police detective dismissed from his position. It's a no-brainer, right? <laughs> he, s he smiles an icy smile. Indeed. I won't waste brain cells even contemplating your reason for requesting it. Very well. Detective McCluskey is now Citizen McCluskey. A man grates on my nerves anyway. And since this action requires little more than a nod to the proper peon, you may ask another boon of me. Nice. I am feeling generous today. <laughs> There's, I hear you have an opening for a new VP of security. <laughs> it's not, it's just the balls of saying that after I blast my way in that one. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Telestrian regards you a moment. He seems to be choosing his words. Unfortunately, a human is not an appropriate fit for a Telestrian Corporation executive. I'm sure you understand. However, I believe whomever fits, fills the position would benefit from an executive, executive consultant of your caliber. The position will pay quite handsomely, I assure you. Huh. For it to work on Monday. Well, that's good. Just wear something more appropriate. Good day. Actually, I believe I, last time I, would believe I was playing an elf and I actually did get the job. Let's see, there's some people to talk to. Coyote, McCluskey, Harlequin, Dresden. Oh, Jake Armitage. Let's talk, to, let's talk to Dresden. I could use a friendly face after Telestrian. Dresden. The little coroner is surprised to see you, but he can't hide his delight. Hey, Flandry! I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find you here. Just making more work for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but I prefer natural causes. He pops his eyebrows, eager. You know it's all over the Trivid, right? They found the Emerald City Ripper dead at some asylum out in Snohomish, of all places. It turns out he'd been masquerading as a head administrator or something. They found him dead from some sort of vigilante attack. He leans in, whispers conspiratorially. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? A vigilante attack, huh? Wow. I know! It's fascinating, isn't it? Well, no one can say he didn't have it coming, am I right? He frowns at himself. That was a double negative. So! The big question. What about the dead man switch? Now that the Ripper's dead, are you going to collect? Damn right, I'm going to collect. Excellent. I'm sure you deserve it. How do you collect? I was told I need a secure line to call the number Sam gave me. Can't use my comm link. He brightens. Lone Star's emergency response team set up a secure phone line right here to coordinate their efforts. I can authorize you to use it. Nice. I'll get around to it soon. Oh, great. I'm sure there are other people you want to talk to first. Take care, Flandry. Okay, we need to... Let's speak to some other people. See what McCluskey thinks about not having a job. Good idea. McCluskey's alternating between trying to look important and trying to avoid actual work. What are you looking at, Chube? <laughs> Nothing. Just some asshole. Charisma 4. Hey, McCluskey, I just spoke to Mr. Telestrian. He said you got your lieutenant's badge. Intelligence, your shoes untied. Trick him so you can cold cock him. If I had strength 5, I could throw a haymaker. <laughs> if I had close combat 5, I could throw a flurry of punches too fast for the orc to see. Let's cold cock him. <laughs> and then he could wake up to the news that he has no job. Because fuck McCluskey. McCluskey looks down at his shoes as you dive your knee into the bridge of his nose. Oh, he goes down with a thump. GTS. Jake Arm Grow. <laughs> Jake Armitage came to buy. Jake shakes his head, smirking as you approach. When you finally get close, he breaks out laughing. I heard the Universal Brotherhood was getting shot up on the police scanner. Knew it had to be you. Did you get her? She's in custody now. Ah, justice is served. He scratches his mop of red hair. I guess that concludes the story of Flandry and the Dead Man's Switch, huh? 
you know, I've been thinking. Maybe you should stay in Seattle a while. Plenty of ways folks like us can get into trouble here. You only skimmed the surface. I heard Mitsuhama is looking for a team. No idea what that's about, but it could be lucrative. I just got word that something's going on at Crater Lake. The tier's got it on total lockdown. No fly zone, the whole thing. There could be something in it for us if we poke around. And there's always the Orc Underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? Have you? You got plenty of friends there who are good for a job. Something's bound to come up. What do you say? I'm in. Talk to you later. Good! We can hash out over dinner. I can... There's no reason I can't moonlight while I'm a security... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a security consultant for Telestrian. I'm not a full-time employee, right. so... If you want to find me, I'll be at McCracken's later. I got a taste for some seafood. Take it easy, Chummer. That's a good name for a seafood restaurant. McCracken's. <laughs> Coyote. Guess that's it, huh? He captured Sam's killer, and now he'll get his justice. Guess so. Tough week, huh? I've had worse. It's been a I week. Bet. Coyote grins. First time. Well, I'm going to grab Paco, head back to the Union, maybe watch a trit or something. I could use a long shower, too. After that. After that. You could learn the business. Take over for Mrs. Kubota someday. She gets a twinkle in her eye. Someday, maybe. And well, the rest of my body is made of metal, too. But not today. Today, I run the shadows. Get paid. Get dirty. Maybe lose the other half of my face. See you around, Flandry. You're quite a guy. I can honestly say I've never met anyone quite like you. That could be... That may or may not be a compliment. <laughs> I can't guarantee no chipheads will die. <laughs> I will never get tired of that line. Poor McCluskey still convulsing on the ground. Let's talk to... Yeah, Harlequin. The painted elf is watching the scene unfolding around the Universal Brotherhood with a grimace. Well, kid, it's been fun, but I've seen everything I care to see today. I'm gonna get out of here. Is there a problem? He gestures at the crowd as he speaks. Look around. Note the members of the press being shuffled away by Universal Brotherhood spokespeople to get a private briefing. The Brotherhood is connected. The damage control team is probably on the way right now. Think they can control the press? One way or another, they will. If they can't be manipulated, coerced, or bribed, they'll probably disappear. Quietly. There's more, though. He nods his head towards James Telestrian. Note the expression on the UCAS FBI agent speaking to Telestrian. Dismissive, isn't it? That's because there's no love lost between the UCAS and Tier Tangire. They're not going to trust what he's telling them. And frankly, I have no idea what he's telling them. James plays his own game. Always has. Do you trust him? No. Just like I don't trust you. <coughs> don't take it personally, kid. You shouldn't trust me, either. I've been, I've been manipulating runners like you for years. I'm manipulating you right now. You just don't know my game yet. Let's continue the dance. I have one more to show you. He points at someone in the crowd and smiles. The man sees him, pointing and smiles back. That guy there? He's with Ares Macro Technology. Enormous megacorp. Ridiculously powerful. They're one of the biggest in the... They're one of the uh, biggest on Earth, yeah. They're, they've been sniffing around Project Aegis for quite a while now. They're big enough that they have, like, these orbital kinetic weapons that they can use to, like, blow up <laughs> strategic points on Earth if they want Damn. to. Damn. They've been sch sniffing around Project Aegis for quite a while now. Clearly, they have an agenda that's just starting to unfold. He gives the Ares man the finger. The man smiles and returns the gesture. Government. Media. Business. While working to make sure the truth stays hidden. Not from me. No, not from you. You're a runner. That's the idea. But it's not the giant machination it appears to be. In a way, it's worse. It's a series of conspiracies, conflicting agendas, petty jealousies, all building upon, feeding upon, and excreting into... Ew. An unending web of direct that people wade through every day and call life. If there was one Dark Lord controlling everything and we could drive a magic th sword through his heart to free the world, that would be grand. Such clarity. Such focus. Alas. So that, what's, that, what's the lesson in all of this? That I did it all, of, all of it for nothing? He laughs. Just the opposite, schmuck. The lesson is this. The game is rigged. The cards are stacked. The dice are loaded. It's the same as it always was. Every cycle. People in power exert power. Little people cower in their homes, th think what they're told to think, 
buy whatever will for help them forget how horrible their lives are for another day. Did I just walk into a fight club? That's why we don't play their fragging game. What's Did that? Did I just walk into fight club? <laughs> well, remember, he, 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 he and, uh, what's his name, uh... Remember, Glaufier had a very sort of cynical view on existence in general, too, remember? Yeah. And that's why we don't play their fragging game. We don't swallow their direct sandwich and politely ask for another. That's why we run the shadows. That's where real life is, kiddo. Reality's living the place no one wants you to see. Where's Herr Brockhaus? I thought he'd be here, too. He flew back to Berlin. All sorts of things brewing there. Like the sequel. He was very impressed with you, though. It could probably turn into work someday. But I'd forget about him, if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon, kid. They're playing a different game entirely. Okay, seriously, who are you? A friend. Until I need you for something. Then I'm a bastard. See you around, Harlequin. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's make that phone call. Get our get paid. All right. The phone before you has a simple numerical keypad. You can use it to call Sam's law firm and cash in on the dead man's switch. Call the law firm and finish the job. You tap in the phone number Sam's lawyer gave you days ago. The phone rings seven times before someone finally answers. The image of the lawyer on the other end of the vid phone is noticeably different from the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in the background sounds like it's coming from a bar. Sam's lawyer. Yeah? He squints into the phone, and recognition slowly appears on his face. Oh, it's you. Flandry, right? So you got Sam's killer? Yeah, I got Sam's killer. That's... that's great! Hang on, let me slot Sam's video for you. He fumbles for a moment, and the camera jerks crazily. Then it goes to static and is replaced by Sam. Good old Sam. <coughs> Sam still looks like Drek. Same clothes, same background. Probably shot it at the same time as the first video. Hey, buddy. Looking good. Looking good. He giggles. If you're calling this number, that means the job job is done, right? He closes his eyes. Shakes his head. Congratulations, amigo. I knew you'd do it. You were always the dependable one. More than me, anyway. He looks back at you, trying to speak soberly. I... I just want to say thank you. For whatever you did. It means a lot. Not even knowing what you did. It still means a lot. Because I know you did something. You know what I mean? I know you made it right, somehow. He pauses, tilts his head back. His breath hitches in his chest. You're the only one, the only one who ever gave a... who ever tried to help me. Ever. Except my sister. She tried. More than once. She tried. I never let her, though. Never let her in. I regret that. A lot. Did I ever tell you about her, buddy? We're twins. We're twins, I guess. You still a twin after one of you dies? I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. He sighs, heavy. God, listen, do, do me a favor, will you? If you talk to her, her name is Jessica, tell her I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know what for. She's Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I need her to forgive me. Just tell her I love her. He straightens himself, shakes it off. That grin is back. Anyway, you need to get paid. Which would be great except for one thing. I got nothing. Never did. You know how it is, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I knew this was coming, dear viewer. Nick oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Sam has fucked us from beyond the grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. You know, you know how it is, right? Sorry. But hey, thanks again for giving a crap. Seriously. I appreciate it. Tell you what. If you feel sore about it, look into my family background a bit. There's got to be people with money in there somewhere. Maybe one of them can throw you a few bucks. Take care, amigo. See you in hell. He reaches forward and shuts off the camera. The vid screen goes to static and the call ends. There's a moment of silence and then you feel a tug on your jacket. It's Dresden. So, what did he say? <laughs> he told me to never trust a dead man. <laughs> and that's it. 
The Emerald City Ripper killings are sensationalized for several weeks. Lurid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the administrator of Mercy Mental Hospital. Soon after, pop singer Maria Mercurial is cast as the lead in Dr. Ripper, a trivid, th trivid thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to uncover a serial killer. Seattle Newsnet reports a shootout at a chapter house of the Universal Brotherhood. Witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons but committed suicide before they could be captured. All, message, all mention of insect spirits, James Telestrian III, or Shadowrunners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine area between Lake Michigan and the Des Plaines River. Officially, the Chicago, the Chicago containment zone is established to fight an outbreak of an infectious virus. But an infestation of insect spirits is suspected by those who know. A mature form of Project Aegis, called FABS-3, is eventually de deployed to remove the bug threat from Chicago. The Watts family name has since been lost to the shadows. And that's the end of Shadowrun Returns, everybody. Awesome. And the end of our Let's Play. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who, who watched. Uh, I'd like to thank thank Nick for joining me, of course. Absolutely. I'd like to thank all the fine people at uh, Hairbrain's, uh, Hairbrain's Schemes for making this game. And the people who... Uh, and all the people... Who uh, kickstarted it, of course? Who's that? Whose names will actually will, will, we will be seen in the credits? Yeah. In a bit. Um. Also, one one, one kind of confusing one thing I, I should mention about these games: the credits loop. So, don't be an idiot like me, sitting here for ten minutes and thinking, "Wow, these credits are incredibly long. How could so many people be working on this little indie game? <laughs> this you know kind of indie game." The answer is it's not. They're not incredibly long. It's just I'm a moron. <laughs> they, they, I don't know, they're probably set to loop so that if like you're a Kickstarter backer, you can see you know you can see your name and not miss it. Yeah, that makes sense. No, there's a little there's little fast forward, pause, and rewind buttons. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's, I'm sure that's what those are for. And um, and of course I'd like to thank uh, especially like to thank uh, head hairbrain scheme guy and Shadowrun original co-creator Jordan Weissman. Who is? Uh, we've talked before. He he's like been he's, he's done an astonishing amount of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The little bit of research I did on him, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, he's he really. I mean, he by all rights he should be one of the like he should be like a, almost as big a name as like like Gary Gygax or whatever. Yeah. But in any case. This is uh this is not going to be the end of pointless side quest in Shadowrun. I do we I, we do hope down the line to do uh, Shadowrun Dragonfall, the director's cut, and then hopefully when it comes out, uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong, which I actually uh, which I'm actually a Kickstarter backer of. Is that still open or? Uh no, I believe that's concluded. Yeah. Um, so it's it's been quite a journey through. Several different microphones and recording devices, among other things. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'd a quick, I'd officially like to apologize to the great nations of France and Germany for, well, you know what for. I feel like you did another accent too. Did I? I probably. I want to say Russian. That's entirely possible. I apologize to them as well, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Please do not destroy me with your st with your stockpiles of Soviet era bioweapons. I don't even know what that reference is. <laughs> uh. Let's see. And I'll I'll, I'll just mention for uh, people. In addition, this game is uh, comes with full set of like uh, editors t like editors tools to create your own like your own scenarios and adventures. And content, and people have created quite a few like uh, player-created campaign uh, campaigns and whatnot. Oh. So, Shadow, there is quite a bit more to Sh potentially quite a bit more to Shadowrun Returns beyond Dead Man's Switch here. So, you might want to look into that as well. But you know, what I'm probably going to do is actually going to take this. You know, our audio. I'm probably going to condense it down so it seems like we got it all out a lot. We, it seems like I've said this a lot quicker than I did. That's fine. Are we are we looking for your name? No, my name's no, my name's not here. I I, I backed Shadowrun uh, Hong Kong, oh. not this. 
Okay. What are we looking for? Oh, not nothing. I'm just. <laughs> it's just hypnotic to watch. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, everybody, and see you next time. Bye.